over the years of working with many Christians and many churches, I thought, you know, when this one couple came, she'd been married 37 years. And she was so mad. He ought to know what I need by now. I shouldn't have to tell him. He ought to know. I was like, then you think you're bigger than God because even God says, I know what you need before you ask, but I need you to ask. Even God says, ask. You know, you want something from God, you got to ask. He knows, but he needs you to ask. It's sort of a, you know, legal thing. <laughs> so if you'll tell your husband what you need, he'll do it. Men are real simple-minded. We only use one side of our brain to begin with. <laughs> Just ask him. But don't do that thing where, this is a lady talked one time, wrote a, wrote a letter after a seminar I did. I said, she, she was complaining. We had a lot of questions and answers. She said, you know, every year we have a big... Super Bowl party, my husband invites everybody over to the den and they leave that thing skanky and trashy. There's nachos in the floor and trash everywhere. And I said, well, tell him before the game's over, just walk and say, hey, honey, clean up. Because all you're just, you always leave that a mess. They're trashed out at every time. You never help out. You never clean up. No, you're a cheerleader from hell. Nobody's going to listen to you. He's going to shut you off. <laughs> when that game's going on, she said, well, I don't know anything about football. Well, just ask somebody. Look, make sure it's the fourth quarter. Don't go in there, and somewhere in the fourth quarter, you need to walk in, look at your husband, honey, I need you to take the trash out and clean up the room, then you just back out. And she did that. She said she backed out, and she stood at the door, and she looked through the crack in the door, and she watched her husband. He didn't move. That game's going on. It's an intense game, I guess. I don't know who was playing. And all of a sudden, she said he did this. He went. <laughs> looked back again, then he stood up. He's standing up with the game. Got some nachos he's wearing. And he starts heading toward the door. <laughs> Commercial came on. He broke for the kitchen. Got trash bags. Hey, guys, clean this up. Pick this up real quick. Wiped everything down. When the guys left that day, we were eating dinner that evening, late. And she said, honey, I really appreciate you cleaning up the room. He said, what room? <laughs> now, I just helped you if you don't know that. Ladies, men think different. They're real simple. <laughs> Cut out the verbiage. You always, you never, you should have, you could. Shut your yap, lady. <laughs> if you ask your husband, hey, honey, are you busy tomorrow? Could you pick up the kids after school? No, dear God, I won't be able to do that. I'm working late. No, you say this. Honey, tomorrow at three, pick the kids up after school. Okay. 